Alright guys, so we're finally out in a public lake. And uh, I'm going to a spot where I know is a little honey hole. The bass, pretty much anything. Gar, I've caught gar there before. Small mouths. Um, big sunfish. But we're going to try to catch some largemouth today. So we can take them and put them back in that pond. And uh, from the first and second episodes, you can see that the pond is overpopulated by sunfish and crappie. And we're here today to try to catch some largemouth bass to take back safely and healthy and put in that pond so they can keep the numbers of the sunfish and crappie down. You know, so they'll grow to their full potential because they're not, they're all so small. There's a bridge over there, comes around, nothing but forest over here, power lines, and there's this little honey hole right here. It's a little channel that goes around an island. And I know it's real mossy because on really clear days you can see the moss growing it like out in the middle. So I know it's a good spot to fish. This is that little island. And it's it's water wraps around it this way. And right here is that little sweet spot. So we're going to cast a few different lures in here and spend a little bit of time see if we can catch some bass. The water's kind of rough right now. We got a south southwest wind and these shoals are kind of coming in here. Don't know if that's good or bad. I think I'm going to try this big plastic worm, snake tail. Should work pretty good. Okay, able to catch a monster with this thing. Let's see how it goes. All right, this wind is killing me out here on this point. So I'm gonna move over to this flat over here. It's a little flatter, less wind, might be better. It is less windy over here. I don't see how, but it is. I see a good rock sticking up out of the water. That'd be perfect to tie to. I just don't know how deep it is here. Oh. Well, it's about a foot and a half deep right here. The perfect rock. Perfect rock sticking up. Got a flat over here. Flat behind us. Okay, I've been getting hung up way too much in these rocks. So we're going with the topwater frog. See how that works. Big one. Oh, I hope he stays on. Oh my God. I hope he stays on. We got him good. I don't know what it is, but we got him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a channel cat. Channel catfish on a topwater frog hooked into the top of the head. Probably a, at least a four pounder, maybe five. Look at that beauty on a topwater frog channel catfish let's get that hook out of him that hook got him right on top of the head look at that I'm gonna try to get it out of here safely I might not be able to film it It'd be too much work got him good alrighty he will be perfect for our pond Perfect. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful channel catfish. 
Okay, never heard of it before. I did not know Channel Cat hit on live bait, but this one just hit on that top water frog. I wish I had a scale, but we're gonna give her a measurement. Beautiful Channel Cat. Beautiful. That is perfect for our pond. She will help keep the uh, sunfish and the crappie down. So we're gonna put her in the water. We're gonna get a quick measurement on her first, then put her in the water. Hit right on that top water frog in this flat out here. Hit hard too, aggressive. I didn't know what it was, but that is just beautiful. So I'm gonna get a quick measurement and we're gonna put her in the water. I'm gonna get her wet real quick to keep her healthy. I'm betting that's a girl because look at the belly and that's perfect. That means she's full of eggs and she'll lay eggs in our pond back home. That's pretty flat. Yeah. 19 and a half. Amazing. Amazing. And catfish are very easy to keep alive as well. So she will do good on the way home to the pond. So let's put her in the water, keep her alive, and see if we can catch some more. It's about three to four feet deep right here. I checked it on the way over. I'm gonna top these rocks here. Really, really good spot. Good flat right here. I checked it on the way over. It's about four foot deep in some spots. So I'm gonna fish off this island every direction. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what type of lure this is called, but I know it's a topwater and I'm seeing fish at the top of the water, big ones, like crazy. So I think this is gonna be the one right here. Well, I set out to catch largemouth bass and was very unsuccessful. I fished for several hours and was only able to catch that one catfish. So she will have to do. I placed her in very fresh lake water in an ice chest and she was very much alive when I put her in there. She was very, very healthy and ready for her new home. Catfish are very tough, and they can survive in about any body of fresh water as long as they have plenty of food, and she is definitely going to have plenty of food. She will help keep down the crappie and the perch populations. The drive back was beautiful. We had a spring storm coming in from the west, and I was able to get down to the pond way back in the woods just in time before it started raining. Okay, so here we are, back at the pond. I wish it was a couple largemouth bass, but 
she's gonna have to do. She's beautiful, she's pretty good sized, so she's gonna help keep down the population of the sunfish and the crappie. At least it'll get us off to a good start. Alrighty, you gotta go eat as much fish as you can. You better eat all the crappie.